Bhavna and you're watching India Today. I'm joined by the amazing cast of FOMO Shots Face Season 3. The gorgeous four ladies who are flawed at the same time amazing. I have Kirti, Shayoni, Manvi and Bani Ji here with me on India Today. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Firstly, Thank you. a huge congratulations. I love the trailer. I love both the seasons. Looking forward to the third season. Uh, it's, I, it's great to talk to a true fan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> what I love about the show is the fact that, of course, we have these four, like I introduced, amazingly gorgeous women with flawed characters, uh, you know, just embracing and taking on life as it comes. I want to understand, but female friendship is very seldom spoken about. Of course, now we speak about it all the more, but when the first season came, times were different yeah. for sure. Uh, yeah. In real life, though, when was that? first time you realize that female friendship is very very important because I believe in the beginning in childhood we all have friends and but we don't understand the importance of female friendship till you reach a certain point in life. Okay. What was that point for you all? Well I went from a co-ed school and most of my uh, buddies were boys you know and I was also um, like I would play every recess period, I would go and play, yeah. you know, play everything and, uh, you know, be it football or basketball or whatever it was, throw ball. And I, I saw a lot of girls, um, you know, they would, they would just, you know, walk around and, you know, like sit and chat and things like that. So when I went to a girls college, LSR, I was a little like, I didn't understand what that meant. And then I went and met these gorgeous women and I was like oh my god this is like a I mean <laughs> you know and I was like this is outstanding and especially you know they were beautiful and intelligent and smart and driven and ambitious and like and I understood the importance of having women by your side and yeah. ever since then I mean that I this was when I was 18 and ever since then I've always found women by my side I just had my birthday weekend with you know, my bunch of girls and, you know, we were like 13 women and wow. um, and we had such a great time and, you know, everyone was so different. But having said that, the synergy was there, you know, and I've always, um, I love traveling with my girlfriends yeah. or solo, you yeah. know, and I feel as you grow older, you understand that it's so important to have women in your corner, you yeah. know, because um, that kind of understanding you will not find with the other gender. Because it's a, it's a matter of lens and how you see life and True. what life throws at you, especially when you are, you know, from, you know, it, it, you know in India, we, we pretty much have similar upbringings and things like that. Yeah. So after a certain age, you understand that it's a hai. of sisters. The sisters are very important. I like What about y'all? Do you have any phase in particular where you understood the importance of female friendship? I've actually always, I maybe it's got to do with the fact that I have an older sister, so I've always Correct. had a lot of um, female influence, good positive female influence. Uh, but I've always had, uh, like at a, in every phase of my life, I've had strong female friendships, whether it was school or through college and then after moving to Bombay. But uh, unfortunately, uh, it it just so happens in life that you value, start valuing these things only when you're going through a low phase, right? Yeah. That's when you you turn to them and you're like, oh my God, thank thank God you're here. So maybe through all the low phases, like when I first moved to Bombay, I was really scared and, you know, lost. And uh, so that's when I would turn to them uh, or, or whatever, like you're going through shit in your personal life, work life, whatever. whatever. So then that's when you kind of, but it's really, I think, um, like she said, it's also like even with the four of us, like we're constantly hyping each other in scenes, yeah. you know, like uh, I, even like that day we were shooting something and I went in and she was, she's like, stand, she's not, not on camera. She's somewhere there, but she's like just shouting from there. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. You know, like uh, uh, she'll be there that, oh, there are important scene here. So I'll, I'll be, I'll be there for cues and this and that. Kirti will come and tell me that, you know, why don't you do this? Let's do this. So there's a sense. So, and we do that with each other all the time. Uh, and like. Yeah, and I think that's, it's a very positive of thing course. to have and just um, just knowing that we're all kind of on the same boat, it, it helps. Do you think with, while you were part of this show, it has also helped you understand the, through the characters, the, understand yourself better as well as human beings? Has, has that Absolutely, been I think it's a, it's, a, it's a given. I mean, when you are playing any character, uh, there is a, um, you always, as the person, 
step into the shoes of the character you're playing and you start seeing things from that lens right yeah. so wo uh, wo jo ek exchange of it's like it's almost like when you meet another person right aap jab when you get close enough uh, you start seeing things from the other's perspective right and uh, there's an exchange of what can i learn from this what can you know what what they they take back from it so it's the same with your characters that you play and a character like the ones that we are playing season after season yeah. matlab bahut zyada uh, we spend a lot of time on this show yeah, right yeah. and um, it's it's also because it's a series um, bahut the writing is very very uh, what do you say it's very um, uh, expansive मतलब आप आप यू हैव द टाइम यू हैव द स्पेस टू गो इन टू लेयर्स ऑफ एवरी कैरेक्टर सो द मोर यू गो इन टू इट द मोर यू सी एंड द मोर यू टेक बैक फ्रॉम इट एंड इट्स इट्स आई मीन देर आर पॉइंट्स वेर your your life and the character's life almost like overlap there are these yeah. moments you know yeah, where you yeah. find yourself oh fuck that that's happening to me right <laughs> now you know so um, th- that's the point and and the point is not just the show not just the characters the point is we are so many women on the show together like the four of us especially and then our directors writers Every, everybody, everybody our stylists yeah, of producers of it, i mean it's 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 also a lot of give and take in this yeah so so you are uh, i mean you are constantly exposed to uh, different kinds of people with different problems different perspectives different opinions and i think you can you also learn to respectfully uh, agree to disagree yeah. you know what i mean it's not about you have to all four of us think alike ya hamari problems nahi hoti hamari confrontations nahi hote but it's about Okay. understanding each yeah, other yeah it's like it's the yeah. it's it's respectfully allowing each other so it's a lot of a uh, lot of growth yeah i think uh, i can speak for myself but i also know it's true for them last 4 5 years with the show have been um <laughs> very <Slow. Where> <laughs> <laughs> it sounds a yeah, lot yeah, 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 it has taken yeah. like 2 years yeah, 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 yeah. what's yeah. uncanny yeah. is the similarity yeah. you find uh last weekend like I, I, i was in the flight and i saw so all four of us they were like Who are you more like? Okay, so this yeah. was an Instagram post. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Damni was on the top right corner, and yeah, it said, really "Is a perfectionist will never ask for help." And that's exactly <laughs> what me and my girlfriends were talking about through the weekend. Like, <laughs> I'm a perfectionist, but I don't ask for help. I, I'm like, "I'm gonna do everything for you." And I was like, "I don't know if it's how do they know me?" Yeah, I'm talking about me or oh, Damni. You know, <laughs> so sometimes the similarities are uncanny. Like when I saw it, it was like, oh my god, the universe! Like, yeah. It's like watching. That is that was the universe. Yeah, yeah. But funny for you also. I mean, you know, I feel that your character is one of the most complex characters to even pull off on <clears> screen. <throat> also because uh, I don't know when when it was uh, in the previous season or the uh, the season before that when it was even exposed or even told in ways that she is someone who is who. who like like you know who is a lesbian um She's bisexual bisexual, bisexual. Yeah. uh She I don't know. We haven't committed to her sexuality at all. So in, she's just sex positive. Yeah. 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 No, but at that point, I don't know how many people were even okay with the I mean, fact that it's being portrayed in a certain way yeah. on screen. You know. So for you, what was your you know sensibilities? How did you approach that character? And now, how has it changed? Yeah. Well, I approached it. It's I don't know. I think a lot of people have very different. Like if. either one of the four girls apart from me was playing this character they would of course have a very different approach to of how course, they would yeah. tackle it which i think is very interesting and completely justified the way that i personally looked at it was how would i fall in love with anybody yeah how do i fall in love as a person as bani mm-hmm. j how how am i when i fall in love how does it feel to me that's how i'm going to play this character yeah. how does she feel when she's in love with samara how mm-hmm. does she feel when she thinks of pinky mm-hmm.